Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for July 10th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Three's a Crowd Sudoku by Bill Murphy. And this is an outside Sudoku, which we've done before, uh, but where one of the digits doesn't belong. So, normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3 by 3 box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid, and normally, when we have a clue outside the grid, say this 137, for outside Sudoku, that would be telling us that all three of the digits appear in the first three cells of this column. And 239 appear in the first three cells of this column from this direction. Now, obviously, those can't both be true because we can't put a three in both places. And we don't have to in this puzzle. There is exactly one digit that is not actually in the first three cells, either the one, the three, or the seven. So we have to figure out which one it is. Um, but there is always one missing, and the other two are always present. Those are the rules. And we're going to get started where the given digits appear. Um, we have a 1 here. And 1 is not 3, 4, or 5. So these two cells are going to have to contain digits from 3, 4, 5. So we just don't know which ones yet. But here, we have a 2, which is not part of the 5, 6, 7 clue. So we need two digits from 5, 6, 7. Well, 3 is not one of those. So that has to be a 5, that has to be a 4. And this can't be 7, so this is 6. So our liar here is the 3, our liar here is the 7. All right, here, we need 1, 7, 8. We need two of them in these three cells. There's a 4 here. So these are from 178. But here we need two digits from 567. The only digit that can go here is 7. And this can't be 1, so this is 8. And then this can't be 5, so this is 6. So we have 6 and 7 for this clue. We have 7 and 8 for this clue. Here we need 1, 2, and 3. Here we need 1, 7, and 8. 1 is the common digit. And again, we need these two cells to contain digits from 178 and these two cells to contain digits from 123. So that has to be 1. This can't be a 3, so it's 2. This can't be a 7, so it's 8. And here we need 3, 4, 5 in these cells. We need 1, 2, 3 in these cells. So this has to be 3. This can't be 5, so it's 4. This can't be 1, so it's 2. So that's most of the clues, but not quite all of the clues. So let's see what Sudoku we can do. Uh, 3 and 8 down here can't go in these cells, so they're going to have to go in these cells in that order because of the 3 and 8 in box 3. 5 and 2 here can't go here, so they go in that order. And there's a 1, I see. Uh, what do we need here? We need a 7 and a 9, and that's resolved from that 7. 7 and 4 look down here, so this is 4, 7, and then we need 3 and 9. And here 1 and 6 look over, so we have 1, 6, and we have 5 and 9. And now we can go ahead and fill in our possibilities, and that might be important for these clues. So, for example, this 2, 3, 9. We need two of those digits here. This can't be any of them. So both of these are going to have to be from 2, 3, 9. That means this is not an 8, and this is a 3. It's the only digit that we can put there. Here we need 1, 4, 5, and this can't be any of those. So this is not a 6, and this is a 4. And that resolves the 7 as well. Now if we look up, the 3 can't appear in 1, 3, 7. So we need 1 and 7 somewhere in these cells. This is the only place 1 can go, and that's the only place 7 can go. It means that's not 1. 2, 4, 6 here, we have a 4. It can't go here, so we need a 2 and a 6. The 2 has to go there, and the 6 has to go there. From these digits. Uh, we still need a 9 in this row, and a 4. 5 to finish this row. and. 3 and 8 we can't do yet, uh, but the 9 looks down to give us 2, 8, 9. That gives us 3 and 8. 
and this can't be five. Can't resolve this yet. All right, let's look at these. These are two, four, and nine. That's not nine. These are three, seven, eight. These are one, five, six. And we need two, three, four twice in these cells. This can't be any of them. So they go here. This can't be nine, and this is a three. It's gonna make that a nine from the two, four pair here. And nine is also not in one, three, eight. So this is three or eight, and this is one. Okay. Can't quite do the same trick that we did up here, um, but we'll resolve these in a similar way as these and these, I think. So one, two, two, and five here. So this is not one. And this cell can't be from six, seven, eight. So these two are. This is seven. This is six or eight. Uh, this is not nine. So this is nine. So that's one of our digits. This can't be the other one. And in fact, four is the only digit that can complete this. That four is going to look over here for two, four. This can't be two. Uh, this is three. This is eight and seven over here, six and eight. Get anything else? We've got our two digits here, two digit, digits there. I think at this point we're probably just looking for classic stuff. So I'm going to look at this row. We need two, three, four, and five. Those can't be two. That can't be 2, 3. This can't be 2 or 4. And this can't be 3, 4 or 5. So that's 2, 5, 3, 4. That's 1 and 2. All right, this is 1 or 6, and it can't be 1. So that gives us 5 and 6. That gives us the 1, 5, and 6 down here. And then to finish off, we need 8 and 7, and we need 5 and 1. And that's the solution. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let us know how you did. Um, the givens help a lot in this type of puzzle. And I will admit, when I first tested this, I, I had just tested a with um, the second, third, and fourth rows instead. Um, and I was very confused about how this solved. So um, yeah, having, having the givens is very helpful. Um, make sure you read the rules when they're solving. <laughs> um, but I will see you next time.